There's a thing that I've noticed a lot of lower elo players say, and I believe this is something that is holding them back from climbing up to higher elo, and it's mostly said by bronze and silver players, you know, the lowest of trashy elo, but it technically applies to every single elo except like challenger, because that's the top one. And now you're wondering, wh what is this thing that everyone's saying? Well, if you've ever watched a high elo stream or some YouTubers really good at League of Legends or some motherfuckers be watching LCS and they say this stuff. I'm bronze and in my elo they make the same mistakes as you just stayed in that game. You know, that fucking Lee Sin there, I'm better than him. I I had five kills in my last game, he's going two and three, what the fuck? I'm better- No! Motherfucker, there's a reason why you're in your elo and this is such a big thing that I think a lot of low elo players are cursed by. I was inspired to make this video because I read a comment on my, um, well, I don't want to expose anyone here and mention any names, so I'm not going to do that, but uh, I read a comment on my video where a guy basically typed, The moment you're bronze and you see his enemies, plat equals bronze. Bronze won, by the way. This is such a stupid thing to say, like, it, it's like some people have pride in being bad at the game just so they can point out that other people are just as bad. I was playing a game with a guy who um, joked and said, I don't remember exactly what he said, but he basically made the point that it's better to be low elo because if you're for example bronze and you're playing normal game against a plat player, I mean if you lose it doesn't matter, you're bronze, who cares, you fucking suck, that's what's expected of you, but if you win your enemy just lost against a bronze. How fucking embarrassing. You you just beat a plat player who's better than you and they suck and they deserve to be bronze. I mean, it's like, it's a win-win situation. You got nothing to lose. But to get back a little bit on topic, if you want to improve, the first step of improving is realizing that you're worse than the rank that you want to reach. You got to realize that you suck. That's you know, the best players are very self-critical. If you watch a lot of high elo players, like some people like fucking Tyler1, whatever, I mean, he's an alpha, so uh, he, he obviously doesn't make any mistakes, it's always his noob team. Uh, but uh, a lot of players, if you watch, you know, Bjergsen or whatever, you know, pro players, they always point out their mistakes. They're embarrassed by their mistakes, and the smallest things, they're like, oh my god, I'm so boosted, I suck. That's the mentality that you should have. Focus on your mistakes, criticize yourself, and you're gonna reach much higher elo. The first step is realizing that you're bad, is basically what I wanna say. Because these players who watch obviously better players because they're ranked higher, and they say, oh my god, I deserve that elo, you're just as bad as I am. They're never gonna climb because they haven't even begun to realize that they're worse. They think that they're actually as good as these players. They, they think that there's somehow a, a system that works against them and they only get noob teams, whatever it might be. If you somehow think that a diamond player that you watch, you're watching a stream of is making the same mistakes as you do in bronze, of course, if you're playing Lee Sin and you miss a skill shot in bronze, it's gonna look the same in diamond. I mean, people miss skill shots in all elos, but in a more general sense, uh, these players are better than you and uh, a higher elo for a reason. Uh, that was the end of my little rant. By the way, I got actually got uh, demoted to diamond from uh, platinum. Yes, I called it a fucking demotion because that's what it is. Diamond 5 is true elo hell. And I actually... Now it's gonna get really confusing because I said demoted to diamond, but uh, I actually got promoted back to platinum again. Uh, well, literally demoted to platinum but i'll call it a promotion because platinum is better than diamond 5 okay all right let's stop joking around here i actually got promoted to diamond 5 then i got demoted again because i decided to play a bunch of junglers um, and stop playing mid because i was kind of bored only playing twisted fate every game and i had some unluck with teams you know it can happen it's not gonna happen in the long run remember that's that's the whole point of this video you're not unlucky or anything like that you can get unlucky in the short run though, but in the long run it's always your fault. But my point is that I got a little bit unlucky, got demoted from uh, Diamond 5 again, and then I got promoted back up again. So I got promoted twice, and I actually lost one promotion by the way, uh, because uh, my client crashed. So I basically I played three Diamond 5 promotions in like 
one and a half week or something. I don't know, and I didn't play that many games either. Uh, and I actually won two of these promotions, and one my client crashed, so I lost the last game. So that was unfortunate, but I got I'm Diamond 5 again. I didn't make a video out of it. I'm sorry if you care about that. Not that many people watched my Road to Diamond anyway, so uh, I figured it's not fucking worth it. But uh, thanks for watching this video though. Don't forget to leave a like, maybe a little comment. What are you? What's your opinion? Are you bronze? Are you platinum? Leave a like if you're uh, between bronze and uh, master. If if you're challenger, you don't have to leave a like. But if you aren't, you're obligated to leave a like. Otherwise, you'll have unluck for the rest of your life. Okay? So uh, peace. Hey, fucking Ope. Hey, oi, ta on, jag kan stanna igen. Han! Ta on! Vad fan? Jag stannat en fem år på dag. Ta on!